we're talking about the top ways to make passive income here in 2020. These ideas generate me over $1,000 a month. We're going to start with the easiest ones, progressing into the hard ones. This is going to be a two-part video where in the second half, I'm going to do a more in-depth discussion about making money on websites and YouTube. I look so forward to breaking this down for you. So let's jump ha, ha, right in this. Drop it. investors I like to the top ways of making passive income here in 2020 and to kick all this off starting with the easiest passive income sources that government money baby for the first time in my life that's right we're talking about stimulus checks and emergency benefits on both sides of the border this is something I'm personally tapping into but it's something I don't want you to get too excited about because chances are if you're able to collect this you are out of work which means you should be starting to focus your attention and your value of your time into some of these other passive income sources, but this is one you can't turn a blind eye away because historically passive income like this is never going to happen again, which leads me into a numero dos, one that, you know, if you're a fan of Dave Ramsey, you're not going to agree with because I'm talking credit cards being the second easiest way to make passive income. So long as you're not careless and you're running yourself into a cardboard box on the side of the road and you can pay the sucker off at the end of every month, I'm collecting about one to 2% annually on all of my purchases, whether it's gas, you know, shopping at the food store. And so far I have been able to earn $54 and 69 cents. I mean, we're not talking about life-changing passive income, but at the end of the day, money I was going to spend already, and heck, I even overtop my credit card off. But if you live in the U.S. of the A, I'm going to highly suggest that you get what is called the Apple Pay card, because that card does, I think, 1% to 2% cash back immediately as soon as you make the transaction. They'll deposit that little extra back into your account, whereas with my Scotia Visa card, I only get that cash back once a year. Now let's move into the passive income sources that are going to require you to put up a little more sweat equity equity. But at the end of the day, if you can pull these off successfully, they're going to become very passive and very fruitful. So moving into number three, ladies and gents, we're talking about Amazon Associates. Of all the next ones I'm going to talk about, this is the easiest to sign up to. And if you have a product that you already enjoy using that you chat about with your friends and you have a, like all your friends on Facebook, you could literally sign up to this for free. Take your Amazon affiliate link of your favorite product you're already using and promote it to your friends on Facebook. Try and find a way of helping people. This is the first time in history where I think people are starting to realize the severity of being a salesperson. I mean, when you used to be a salesperson, it used to be kind of the scuzzy way of looking at a job because you'd be working at a car dealership or selling insurance or something like that. But today, you can be a sales rep for any product under the sun. You don't have to worry about manufacturing. You don't have to worry about setting up all these different sales funnels. I mean, those people have done the work. And you can just tap into this by presenting the right audience with the right product. And I don't want you to understate the severity of this because if you learn something called Google rank, which is something I'm going to touch base more in the second half of this video, I mean, you could find an underranked product, which means one that hasn't been really properly used for search terms. I mean, you can steal those search terms, get all the traffic of people looking for that product and sell it to them and take your 10% cut. I mean, that really starts adding up if done correctly. Heck, you can even make Facebook ads around a product. And so long, as those ads make you more than they cost at the end of the day it can be just that easy to be an amazon affiliate now, nonetheless moving into the fourth best way to make money right now guys is by far starting a youtube channel now amazon associates much much easier just to sign up this one's going to require some severe sweat equity but taking a look guys i haven't posted a video in two days yet i'm still generating views and on average i'm making three to four hundred dollars a month right now which is not a stupid amount of money. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, it is fairly passive at this point, And I love engaging with this audience. Now, the problem with YouTube is the same problem with Amazon Associates is you might want to find a way to rank because no video on YouTube just becomes viral. You're kind of responsible for building your own audience the same way you're kind of responsible for, you know, finding people to buy your Amazon Associates products. But the good thing about YouTube is if you're talking about very niche details and trying to help people understand products, because I'm sure you've seen product review sites. I'm sure you've seen how to whatever it is, fixing cars cleaning Lego. It doesn't matter. If you're in a niche that not a lot of people are talking about, you're going to find what again is called rank. And if you get rank, that means every time somebody searches up that topic, in an example of myself, I talk a lot about stock market investing. And sometimes my stocks are very unheard of talking about my prison stock, GEO group. If you go on YouTube right now and search up GEO stock, my video is numero uno. And that video is generating passive income and views because it has basically found a way, it's found its own way 
on YouTube under something not a lot of people are going to look up, but there's still going to be a percentage of people that are going to search that, and I'm going to make money off the ads that get played when they watch it. Leading me into a number five, ladies and gents. Now, just like YouTube, websites are an incredible way of generating income, whether you're writing blog posts, uh, promoting, you could even promote your Amazon products through a website, or maybe you have your own little product, maybe you made a digital product, you want to sell a clothing line because you're using something like Vistaprint or one of those other websites that basically does all the work for you. There's a lot of different ways to go about websites, but the same problem websites have, Amazon Associates and YouTube have, at some point you got to find traffic and you got to find ranking but there is a lot of ways to do this successfully. And to show you an example, here we are making 1,354 US dollars for the month of May so far, which isn't over, off basically digital products um, and courses that we launched around the stock market niche. Now, this one, unlike YouTube and Amazon Associates, I'm gonna say should be at the top of your sweat equity list because online businesses work exactly like real estate. They actually have value behind them. And usually these businesses can trade anywhere from 30, to 40 times monthly earnings, which if we were to take an average monthly earning for our site of say $1,500, and you times that by those earning multiples, I mean, you're really looking at a business right now that has a valuation of anywhere from 30 to $50,000 if we were to put it up for sale today. And it's something that I think too many people overlook, but with this new shutdown going on and everybody trying to figure out, everybody and their grandmother is starting to move into e-commerce. And it is something that you should be doing today to start hedging yourself against the way the future is naturally naturally going. And again, guys, I'm going to do a real in-depth talk about this in part two, which again, the link's in the description, but let's move into the six best way to make passive income. Now, unlike everything we're talking about here, this is one that not only requires a little bit of sweat equity, but you got to have some capital. Like you're not going to be getting into this one without having a decent chunk of change. Right now, my stock portfolio, guys, is generating me probably the most passive income out of everything we just talked about, except for that government money, but this, this will be around when the government won't. But nonetheless, I've managed over the last five years to build up a six-figure stock portfolio that makes me 6000 a year annually. And you can see the dividend income based off all my different stock holdings just in my one brokerage here. This is what I'm going to say is the easiest way to make passive income and will continue to be in the future because you have to make the money first of all. So you're putting sweat equity in either at your job or doing one of these other income sources and you're putting it towards your favorite stock, whether that be Apple, Microsoft, you know, a, a real estate investment trust out there. And if you made the right investment decision, I mean, that company should pay you for the rest of your life. Some of these companies pay me monthly, quarterly. You can actually see my payout schedule here for June, July. It is a little staggered because obviously these companies uh, don't pay at the same times. Unlike all those other income sources, this is the only one where once you put the time in, you can pretty much cleanly walk away from it with zero maintenance, you know, zero emails from clients. You don't have to check in on the government to get that benefit. You don't have to use your credit card to buy your stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, you go to bed, you're still making money off this. So it's definitely at the top of the list. But the reason I put it more toward the back end here, and you just have to have money, whereas these other income sources can be more sweat equity based. Now, finally, another one of the hardest ways to make passive income, but one of the most brilliant is real estate. And right now in this shutdown is the most crucial time if you are in the real estate game to be paying attention. There's going to be a lot of people out there in the near term future that are going to be losing their homes. They're not going to be able to afford those mortgages. They're going to be defaulting and you might be able to slip in, pick up a really good deal. And if I'm being honest, if you can pick up the right deal and maybe save 50 or or $100,000 on a house, I mean, you could probably just sit still and try and ride out the rest of the pandemic for a year and then turn it into a rental property because God knows right now is not the easiest time to be running an Airbnb or doing any kind of rentals. Now you could go the other route with real estate if you don't want to own the physical aspect of it, there are a lot, there are, there are an incredibly large amount of opportunities with companies like Fundrise. Uh, and I know Matt Money talks a lot more about this than I do because he actually has um, an account with Fundrise. He's also got some money with Cardone Capital. So there's many different ways to get exposure to real estate without you actually having to be directly involved, making it a heck of a lot more passive. But keep in mind, if you don't have the title for that actual asset, you're not going to get the tax benefits, but you're also not going to be putting up the time of dealing with the tenant fixing the toilets, etc., etc. But if I'm being 100% honest, this is still at the very top of the list of one of the best ways to make passive income because at the end of the day, real estate has made more millionaires in the Western world than almost any other investment. Now in part two, link in the description below, I'm gonna do a very in-depth talk about my highest earning passive income sources. We're gonna be talking websites, so check all that out. But other than that as well, if you guys wanna learn more in-depthly about passive income, you can also head on over to the passiveincomeeducator.com, but slap a like, let me know if I missed any in that comment section 
description below. And I look so forward to catching you tomorrow.